Okay, so this is a quick overview of the verses when you compare it with the tote bag drying. So traditionally, this is how I would dry my tote bags of grain. I go to the local uh, potato farmer and I get these bags brand new. They're like a potato and vegetable bag. They have slits all the way up and down the side. These are small slits, so they will not let the grain out, but they allow air to move through the sides of the bag. And then I screw in a B&W aerator tube right there. It has a screw on the end of it, so you just put it on top of the bag. And then you put a, well I have it taped over, but there's a hole and you put a bar through that and screw it down into the bag. And then they had come with a fan that was one tenth horsepower. It didn't dry well at all. So I then switched the fans to these bigger one horsepower ventilation fans I had purchased used, as well as these um, dust collector fans. Uh, this one here in particular, this will fit right over that with no adap adapters. Um, so I primarily use those two in the tote bags and notice a large improvement in drying by putting a bigger fan on the tote bag. You still have downsides though. Um, these bags can degrade in UV light, so if you leave them out for too long, they will split on those slits all the way around the bag really easily. Be warned. And uh, also, it's really hard to add heat to this situation. And you can't store it outdoors, and rodents can get into it. So those are some of the downsides to tote bag drying that I have run into. Um, and that's what drove me to look for good alternatives. It's important when you're uh, looking for fan selection, it only counts the amount of air that you're moving through the grain. So if you have an Axel fan or like your house fan, it might move a lot of air, but it's not gonna move it at very much static pressure. You need something that's gonna push static pressure because it needs to push that air all the way up through that grain. There's resistance everywhere it encounters a kernel. So that's what turned me to the dust collector fans. They have very good static pressure. And if it's 500 cubic feet per minute, it's gonna drive 500 cubic feet per minute um, through your bin. You can also look online, they have charts with how much static pressure it takes to push through X amount of grain if you're looking for uh, just sizing. But I found in general, making sure you had fans with higher static pressure uh, was much more crucial than the large volume. Especially when you neck an axle fan, like the one up there on the stand, when you neck that down to four inches to try and run in an aerator or underneath one of these bins, you lose a lot of the efficiency. Um, so I've, I've turned more towards just the dust collector fans. So to the upsides of the bin drying, it's been uh, very, very good. Uh, I can set these fans up, dry the grain down. The grain can just stay in the bins, rodent proof. Um, I'm going to test weatherproof here in another video. Um, they're pretty easy to load and unload. You could put them on a stand and unload them into something if you wanted to. If you, or you could just hold them up with a pair of forks and put another bag underneath. The downsides, um, they do not unload out the bottom and you do have to sweep out the bottom of the bin. I would got myself a long broom and you're able to do all the sweeping from inside and it's not that big of a deal. It takes, I don't know, a couple minutes to sweep one of the bins out the door for just what's left. I had tried to remedy that with this slanted bin. The roof is slanted as well as the floor is slanted. And I thought that was gonna be a good idea, but turned out it took quite a while to build longer than the the flat floored ones uh, we ran into some geometry problems trying to design that underneath there and uh, made it a little complicated and not all the grain comes out of it anyway so we still have to sweep it so i think uh, the slanted floor or the slanted floor and slanted roof i will not do anymore for future bin builds i will stick with these i also did a demonstration you can stack these which is uh they stack way nicer than a tote bag and uh, would allow for a little less space used 
You could even stack them on top of each other if you needed uh, if you needed to add a chute here so the grain could run down into something else. So uh, overall, they have a lot of upsides. I'm very impressed, very happy with the project outcome.